Today, Evergreen Public Schools released details about remote learning 2.0. It's basically the district's fall plan. Long story short, it'll allow small groups of high-risk students to get in-person instruction. Evergreen Public Schools says it'll identify which kids will be a part of the groups. They'll include small groups of kindergarten students as well. The plan is for in-person instruction to start as early as September 10th. The first day of school is set for September 1st. A spokesperson told me high-risk students includes kids who may have special needs, are English language learners, may be living in foster care, or who are homeless. The reason kindergarten students are included is because they, quote, need extra attention and experiences in assimilating into the school environment. The district says it'll have safety guidelines in place, too. Everyone will have to wear masks, there will be health screenings, ample hand washing, and social distancing. At this point, you might be wondering about teachers. They're being encouraged to work at their school, but will be allowed to work remotely. Once those high-risk student groups are identified, some district employees will get 48 hours notice about coming back to school buildings. Employees do have options for not coming back. In a statement, Evergreen Public School officials say the district also has provided all employees with options if they or family members fall in high-risk categories or have childcare needs. Needs. Even so, there are some people in the community who have expressed concerns about allowing in-person instruction at all. We spoke with a woman over the phone who says her husband teaches at a special education program in the district and is expected to meet with kids in person. I'm worried about the kids too. You know, I'm worried about their health. I'm worried about the health of the teachers. I'm worried about the health of the teachers' families. There is no way for this to be safe. There is just no way given the space, given the kids. Bless their hearts, I love the kids, but some of them, they're not careful. They're not going to keep masks on. I can tell you that. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.